Morning. Morning. So, Zippy, I hear you've been sinking your putts on the company golf course. Thanks for telling me. Thanks for telling me. The thing is, Melissa and I have, have this chemistry, and it's really hard not to act on it. Yeah, it's tough when you work together. Right. You don't crap where you eat. I know. You don't dip your pen in company ink. And you never bang a woman who owns a snake or a bird. What? They're usually nuts. So, what you're faced with here is a moral dilemma. Oh, I'll say. Whether or not to have an intimate relationship with a woman who is also your employee. Exactly. I got it, I got it. Oh, you do? Fire her, then boink her. I don't got it. You don't got it. He just kind of tightened down. It's like tightening a screw. I'm right about the snakes and birds, though. Really? The one who works for him? Yep. Tinkerbell with the knockers. The same. Well, everybody makes that mistake once. I crossed that line in the 70s when I was cleaning house for Mr. Telly Savalas. No kidding. TV's Kojak? One and the same. What happened? What do you think happened? He's Greek, a man of passion. You can't tie your shoes around those guys. <laughs> That's rough. Bet your ass it's rough. Good morning. Good morning. So, Zippy, I hear you've been sinking your putts on the company golf course. Thanks for telling me. Thanks for telling me. Word of advice? It may seem like fun and games at the beginning, but mark my words, sooner or later, you're gonna wake up with a broken heart and a lollipop stuck to your keister. You wanna explain that to me? I'd rather forget I ever heard it. So, decide what you're gonna do about Melissa? Uh, there's nothing to do. Just have to take the physical feelings I have for her and channel them into something creative, productive, something, something that'll last. You're gonna have sex with a vacuum cleaner again, aren't you? <laughs> That wasn't sex, that was an accident. Once is an accident.